Montago La Gregala. I'm going to show you my first review of the Foldabots. Uh, this Foldabot came after um, February 2014 issue of Kazon, and his name is um, Batikron. Yeah, what an incredible name! Um, in his uh, bio data, uh, he's a uh, he's a a deer, a uh, Visayan spotted deer. Um, here, as you can see, there he's a deer. That's him. And stop. So yeah, here's him. He's pretty decent foldabot. Yeah, that's his robot mode, and there's a flap here, for which I will show you later when he will be transformed into a his uh, combiner mode. Okay, so yeah, that's all you can see him at the robot mode. So let's try to transform this at the uh, deer mode. So first, you're going to uh, put the arms inside his body. Yes, yeah, simple as that. And then put the deer on the sleeve there, and just tuck it in, and then boom, he's a deer. How cool is that? Only a few seconds and then he's transformed fully. Not on the other side because uh, there's no cool decoration there or something. So yeah, that's his deer mode and front. Pretty looking, pretty cool looking deer. And yeah, the legs are cool too, as you can see there. Um, yeah, I guess it's a con P polybot. So yeah, I guess that's my uh, review for Batacron, a folder box. Okay, um, uh, next on my list is this uh, March issue of K-Zone, still 2014, um, still part of the combiner Gas Likastron, and his name is Gaspang, and turns into right leg. Uh, if you want to see his description, here it is. A brief description about him. There is a Foldabot, and there he's a pangolin when he transforms. I don't know uh, what does that look like, but I guess cool. Yeah, there it is. So yeah, let's go to robot itself. So here is a Gospang. Very cool looking Foldabot with the cool gimmick in the chest and got his um, tail as maybe a sword or some sort of that, but I guess it's a sword. And at the back, as you can see there, nothing cool, just the pangolin's head, and inside, um, some details about the pangolin itself. So yeah, I guess the front is all that matters. So, if you're going to transform this thing, just take out the arms. The, the arms are just going to slip right there, and then no form an arm. And uh, just put the these tail on the back sleeve and just took it like that and fold this uh, like that so yeah that's him in this pangolin mode very neat very cool art design looks really like a pangolin even though I don't see one but in the picture it clearly looks like it so yeah cool cool transformation and cool full bot so yeah that's uh this pang Mm. That's how you say it. Okay, so yeah. Okay, uh, today I'm going to show you the uh, um, Musang, the Bearcat um, Likastron bot. So here's the brief description of him. Yeah, yeah, like that. Just like all the other things. Yeah, and that's. His real design, um, yeah, very cool. So yeah, let's go. Um, he's a definitely a folder bot, like all the Legastron. Um, his design looks like uh, Musang, like yeah, Musang here. But I guess 
it does not he does not hold his um, tail back there because it, it does not have any handle there so yeah that's I guess their difference and their color oh yeah I really really love blue stuff like him is a bear cat very cool artwork there and the game looks very cool for me and on the side nothing cool when it's on robot mode the back just some cool stuff too but yeah on the other side nothing so to transform this thing is um uh, really like Musang to just take off his, his arms and the tail just put it on front I mean on the back sleeve and uh, just do that sideways and there he's a bear cat very cool bear cat right there you can see his face the, those eyes so so creepy but remember say hold on so he's helping people oh so yeah I guess that's how he transforms into a bear cat just so cool so many little stuff there so many fur maybe so it's furry bear cat or maybe all bear cats are furry sorry for that I just did see one in person that's all so yeah I guess that's uh, for Musang Next is uh, Talas. He's a uh, he's a Lycastron bot who transforms into a uh, Lycastron's arms. He's a May. He's on the May issue of K Zone. Um, here's the brief description of her. He she's a porcupine. A fiery porcupine there. Yeah, I guess that's it. So yeah. She here's here here's her. So yeah, I get, got cool looking of that face. Looks really like a porcupine girl and yeah game. Oh my god, I'm so amazed on that game. Most well, amazing game because it's co looks cool. On the side, uh, some thorns, some spikes, and the hand of Lycastron. And of course, her hand is made out of spikes too. So yeah, she's made of spikes in her robot mode. I mean, full robot mode. That's one thing. On. Okay, if you're gonna transform her, I personally transform her like this. Yeah, just place the um, porcupine above her. Look at the porcupine. Uh, so full of spikes and many spikes. Yeah, and I just place it on top of her like that, and then he's fully transformed for me. Just for me, I don't know a lot about you guys, but yeah, for me, um, she's fully transformed. As you can see, the view from the back. I personally did that because I guess that's all that matters for me. I guess that's that looks cool. And there. Yeah, in porcupine mode, just can see full of spikes and full of things. Yeah, full of spikes, definitely full of spikes. So yeah, this is uh, my review for Talas. As I repeat, she appears at the uh, June, I mean May issue of Kazon. And next is Kaguang, the last or the leader of the Likas bot. So yeah, I guess. Today I'm going to show you Kaguang, the uh, June 2014 issue of K-Zone. He is the uh, leader of the Likas bots. And uh, here's a brief description about him. So he's a Philippine flying lemur when he transforms. And that's how you can assemble Likastron. But I will show you that after I review this thing. So this is uh, Kaguang, uh, this is his polybot mode, uh, very cool creative robot, as you can see there, 
really am as, <laughs> as you can see I'm really amazed with the uh, game mats. Yeah we got some details over there and fit yeah and the flaps for the uh, wing and on the back uh, just the flying limer stuff going there so yeah let's fold it right in so first you're going to put his hands inside of his body tuck it there and just uh, fold it like that and boom he's on his flying limer mode yeah that's what it looks like got only details on the left side on the back on the right side there's no details about that but you can close that or whatever but I prefer that like that or in the instructions and as you can see that's his um, um, arms or mean or feet whatever is that and the back as you can see the tail of the Philippine flying lemur and in front the cool face of the Philippine flying lemur so yeah I guess that's my review for um, Kaguang so yeah let's go next to Likastrod okay now we're going to do the Likastron bot so first I'm going to do um, Gaspang like that I don't know if that's the real name but yeah put j just put the head in the slit there um, just backwards and do it to Musang too and that's what's going to look like that's going to be um, Likastron's feet remember that Musang's the left leg and the other one's the right and um, what you're going to do with uh, with Batikron is uh, to fold it like this. Just tuck on the arms. If you want the head, just fold it in. It, but I don't like to do that. And facing like this. Just um, place it in like that. Nice and easy. That's going to be a uh, like a strong torso. And uh, get took the. I mean take off the uh, kaguangs to two wings and then uh, just fold it like this a box thing and put it inside put it inside um Batikron's body well I don't know what's happening there you go just put it like that nice and easy and now just what did you do to uh, Batikron? Just do it to Kaguang like this. Just put the arms or hands inside and uh, do it facing backwards now. Well, just do it nice and easy because they're, they're made of cardboard. And yeah, I mean, as you can see. You are creating the custom. That's what's cool about this combiner. Looks like we legit. And uh, take out Talas. So you, Talas is the right hand, like that. And you're going to get two paper clips, which is like that. And you're going to uh, paper clip her into the head of the. Uh, uh, flying lemur on Kaguang on the right arm whatever just do that and th this uh, porcupine body we're going to um, paper clip it on the tail of Kaguang like that as you can see you formed now Likastron's body so what I want to do is take off the head and just um, slide it inside there and then you have formed the custom <laughs> yeah I know it's cool but not that cool much but yeah that's him in a full view it's really hard to do a full view as you can see but the concept so yeah if you uh, if you look uh, right, you can see so amazing the 
stuff to come in there and for me it's an amazing robot it's very colorful robot you can see in the back nothing special just them and the heads of his two companions and on the right left side just the porcupine that's what's cool it's porcupine is in the yard you can uh, really you can't really do anything with him because it will uh, pop up but you can move the hands but I guess this is a collection so don't play rough so yeah I guess that's it that's my review for Lucastron oh yeah very cool again so yeah I guess that's so cool um, for Jamaica to think that combination not like the others just the main body or the things yeah cool thanks for watching this is the end